How can you save a lot of time by writing business emails with ChatGPT? Hi, my name is Johannes Niari. I'm a project manager at Strategic Consulting and on this channel I want to help you to learn the necessary skills that you need for your first years in consulting. And today I will tell you and I will show you how you can save a lot of time by using ChatGPT for writing your business emails. Why is it so important to save time if you write business emails, especially if you work in consulting? Well, the thing is that we write a ton of emails every single day. So I write between, I would say, 20 to 30 or sometimes even 50 emails per day. And of course, you know, it would help me a lot if I could save time with that. ChatGPT, an AI platform that was launched uh, this year, actually really helps you to do that. So I experimented a little bit, you know, what it could do. And today I want to show you how it can help you to accelerate the email writing program. So in consulting, we write a lot of emails to our internal teammates, to the client, you know, to people in our firm. So email is really the main communication tool in our today's business world. Of course, we have other platforms like, you know, Teams, uh, Slack, something like that as well. And most consultancies use that tools more and more, but email is still, you know, the main communication tool. So saving time there is really, really important. And if you use ChatGPT, there are three steps that you have to follow. Step number one is that you send a request to ChatGPT to ask ChatGPT to make a draft for your email. Step number two is that you copy the text that you pasted in your email program. This is step number two. And step number three, and this is very important, is that you make some adjustments. Because, and this is also what my test showed me, you still have to make a lot of adjustments. It's not that it's just copy paste, but at least the first draft can be done by ChatGPT. And then you just make some smaller adjustments. So let's take a look at the example that I did. So I experimented a little bit and asked ChatGPT to write an email for an upcoming e meeting that informs about the purpose of the meeting, lists the five main agenda points and lists three things to prepare for the meeting. And as you see, what ChatGPT does is that it makes a draft and here you can see that it starts with dear, then a placeholder for name, and then you know an introduction uh, sentence where uh, ChatGPT wants to inform about the meeting, the date and the time, and the purpose of the meeting. Then it lists the agenda points, and at the end it says, okay, this is how you can prepare for the meetings, and if you scroll down, then you also have you know this bottom section here. So what I did was, you know, I took a look at it, then I copy and paste it to my email program, and I didn't do it in an email program, but rather copy it just uh, into Word, because that's easier for me to edit. And basically, you know, I liked like 80% of it, but I had to make some changes. So first of all, um, I changed the headline. I also changed the date. I also changed, you know, of course, the name of the program uh, project. And, you know, I wrote the concrete agenda points. I didn't really like, you know, the things or the preparation uh, the suggestions for the preparation of the meeting. So I had to make a lot of changes there. But nevertheless, I kept the main body of this email and just made some smaller adjustments. So the big question now is how much time can you actually save with that? So I made an experiment. So in one version, I drafted the email myself. And in the second version, I used ChatGPT and made adjustments after that. And in a normal email, I would say, you know, it takes me about, let's say five to seven minutes, depending on the complexity of the email, to write this email. And with ChatGPT, I could significantly reduce the time because I already had the body of the email and then, you know, just had to make such a, um, some changes. So basically it took me with ChatGPT between four to five minutes. So you can save some time with ChatGPT. So roughly 20, 25%, I would say, sometimes probably even 50% of, uh, of your time. And if you add that up to the amount of emails that you write, then of course, you know, this is a huge time saver. Of course, we have to say that you cannot use ChatGPT for every email out there because most emails uh, that you write in consulting are very short emails that are in a you know complex context that of course ChatGPT doesn't really understand. But I think there are some use cases where you actually and really can use ChatGPT to help you writing emails. And those are those kind of standardized emails that you have regularly and that you write frequently in consulting. So let me list a few um, uh, use cases for emails that I see. So first of all, as I just showed, meeting invitations. This is certainly something that you can draft with ChatGPT. Also, thank you notes after you have conducted an interview 
with a, a client or with a people from the client side, pro, um, for example. Also, if you have to write data requests, this is also something that you can write with ChatGPT. Also, if you want to share documents or if you write interview requests. So you see all of the stuff that is very, very standardized, that is, you know, also, um, uh, you know, where you don't need the, the knowledge of the specific context because you are in a conversation. These are the use cases where you can use ChatGPT to write emails. Of course, there are some limitations. We have to mention that as well. So be aware that you can uh, use ChatGPT only for very few use cases and most of the emails you still have to write yourself. Also, don't overdo it. Also, you know, always make sure to add your personal um, uh, flavor to it, uh, your personal taste, because people will recognize if you have a certain style of writing and suddenly they get, you know, a different style from ChatGPT, people will notice. So always make sure to make these, um, uh, these adjustments and also double check for errors. So we know that ChatGPT is very good in working with text. Still, you know, ChatGPT also makes mistakes. So always double check your emails. So this is my take on how to write business emails with ChatGPT. If you like the video, then please leave a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. If you want to learn the necessary consulting skills that you need for your first years in consulting, then check out the link below. There I give you access to my free masterclass. And with that being said, hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.